Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Project Spark. Today, to continue on our Halloween spirit, we are picking out a game called Purgatory 2D High Scroller version 1.2, but I'm just going to call it Purgatory for short because that's a lot easier to say. But it's made by the new Webster Gamer. Um, thank you for making the map. I don't know if it's good or not yet, but let's check it out. It says destroy three hellstones in Purgatory. So, uh... Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, what do we want to play on? We're going to play on normal. <laughs> because I don't want it to be too hard, but I don't want it to be too easy either. Main attack, X. I can hold it to charge. Special attack is Y. Okay, sprint is B. Okay. The light heals and protects you. Okay, so we want to hang out in these torches to heal ourselves. Now this isn't a 2D sky. <laughs> this isn't a 2D, but it is a side scroller. It would be a 3D side scroller, I would call it. But um, I can only move in two dimensions, so maybe that's what he was referring to. I don't know actually how you would classify it, but I do get to use the arrows, which I, I don't think I've played a game where I got to use arrows yet. I do also have a sword, but I, I don't think I can use it. Only the arrows. I have. Useless sword on my back, just weighing me down. Uh oh, that guy came quick. Uh oh, okay, he can use his sword though. Let's use my special attack on him. Knocked him down. He's pretty strong. Stronger than the rest. I should keep my bow charged up, really. I can walk around with a charge, so there's no reason not to. Is this a hellstone? That sure looks like a hellstone to me, right? I don't know about you guys, but um, big rocks that are on fire seems like a hellstone. <laughs> I can't tell if it's better to charge up these um, these arrows or to just like spam them. These are these this hellstone is tough. It doesn't just die. Oh, ouch! Okay, I have my superpower for him. I wasn't really ready. No, okay. It's alright, I only got hit a couple times. This thing really is quite a resilient rock, but I guess if you were shooting arrows at a rock, how many would it take to, to break it? Probably a lot. Spamming is definitely the way to do it. You can just shoot these arrows. Pow, 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 pow. Now, I don't know if... Um, there's not a whole lot to signify that I'm in purgatory. Maybe if, like, the whole game was in black and white, it would feel a little bit more uh, purgatory-ish. I don't know if that would make it more fun or less fun. I don't... I'm not sure, but... I am supposed to be in purgatory, apparently. Oh, there he goes! I, I defeated the rock! Take that rock. Now I can get into this torch and heal up. Yeah! Oh, I love the torchlight. Let me tell ya. <laughs> I do produce some of my own light. I'm not sure what that's from. Just my healthy glow. Jeez, this guy's tough. I shot my uh, I shot my super shot the wrong way. Pow, pow, pow. All right, one of the three hellstones has been destroyed. It's not. It is getting a little bit more difficult. They are spawning in twos now, so I do have to kind of spam my button a little bit quicker. And I'm not running around holding. I should run around with this thing charged up. That's what I decided. I haven't been following my own instruction. There we go. That was a good shot. I anticipated that. Okay, there's a lot of them coming for me. I'm assuming eventually they may come from behind me too, so I'm trying to watch out for that. Here's another Hellstone. Yep. This does seem familiar from the last experience. Maybe, uh... I'm not sure if there's going to be much difference between any of the fights at three Hellstones. I thought maybe there would be something different here, like, uh... At least spawning different guys or something. To make it a little bit independent of the rest. Because I just did this, right? It's much easier to kill this rock if you shoot it with charged up arrows. I blew up that one much faster than the first one. I'm getting better at destroying those hellstones. I'm a hellstone destroying master. Pow, pow, pow. 
Oh, ouch. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. No, no, no. Um. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. I, I can't shoot through that torch? Yeah, I can't seem to hit him here. He's too close to the torch. My arrows are hitting the torch instead. That guy was a nuisance. Maybe I should go back to that torch for a second and get fully healed up. Yeah, there we go. Continuing on. Oh, oh, no, 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 come on. Uh, pow. Okay, we got him, we got him, don't worry. Uh-oh, okay. No, 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 no. No, no, okay. <laughs> I'm assuming that uh, there's just going to be another one of those hellstones on the path. That's a little... <laughs> oh, wow, they hurt. I think they're hurting for more than than they used to. I don't, I don't want to die here. I'm going to go back to the torch. I really got beat up bad. I hope they don't um, spawn again now that I came back this far. But I got hurt pretty bad. Torch, give me your power. Let's continue. I have enough health. I have a little bit, a sliver gone, but we'll make do. And it seems like they're not respawning, which is fortunate for us. Uh oh, okay. Back away from me, sir. You hurt. I don't want to get hit by you. Ow. Okay. I don't think they're respawning. Was that one I've already fought or was that a new one? Okay. Back away. Back away. These ones with the big swords are the ones that I gotta watch for. The ones with those little swords aren't as bad. The charging up is very, uh, very important. You do way, way, way more damage when you charge up your bow, so... Um, ah! It's almost worth it to take it, like... I don't know, just walk around with this thing charged up all the time is <laughs> what I'm trying to do. Where are you, you final hellstone? I think I may see it. Nope, just a torch. That's good. Give me some health here. Heal on up. And let's continue. There. Oh, I see something flaming. This must be the hellstone. Pow, 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 pow. And crack. Oh, get him. All right. Yeah, there we go. I'm in a smaller space this time, I think. There's um, not as much room between me and that flaming portal thing this time. But they're not too hard to defend off. I can't see the health of this rock, but I think it's about dead. Okay. You win. As this thing is chopping me to death, it doesn't seem like I win. <laughs> well, you know what? The Webster Gamer, that was pretty fun. A little bit short, and um, to be honest, it was a little bit repetitive. I was just doing the same thing three times. So in my personal rating, I'll give it a five, but I will give you a thumbs up. Because it was fun to experience some of the things that I haven't experienced, like the bow. And uh, you know what? We do have time to kind of look for another game. So I'll, tr I'll show you guys what I'm looking for here in the horror top rated section. So, you know what we're going to try out is um, there's a lot of these remixes of the Slender game. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and try this one out here. It looks like we're collecting coins in the forest, and there is a Slenderman out to get us. So, if you guys know anything about Slenderman, he's a pretty spooky dude, and uh, you don't want to look at him. So, if we see a Slenderman, we're going to turn our head and look the other direction, because that's the best thing to do. <laughs> oh, and it is first person, so this will be maybe kind of spooky. We'll see. Spooky forest. If you guys see the Slenderman... Let me know. I don't see a Slenderman anywhere around here. Do you guys... I guess it's it's kind of hard because the trees are so black. What is that red? There's something red over here. I'm going to go check this red thing out. Uh, uh, I think that's Slenderman. Okay, I don't want to look at that. Was that Slenderman? No. It's not Slenderman. There's a coin here, I think. Okay, I got one of the coins. 
Oh, oh, that's Slenderman. That's oh, okay, that's Slenderman right there. He was. Uh, I saw him. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, I didn't get a really good look at him. He was like a white stick figure. <laughs> so maybe I can go hide in this in this hut. I'm going in here. Yeah, this looks like a nice safe place. All right. Um, what's in here? Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe this isn't a really good place to be. Oh, there's a Slenderman. Okay. He's not, he's not too spooky. <laughs> they could have done a little bit better job with, like, maybe making him, uh, oh, here we go, a coin. Maybe making him, like, make some spooky noise when you saw him. Or a better spooky noise. I don't know if there is one. I keep maybe making too much of my own noise. You think there's two coins in here? You think there's only one? Let's, uh... Let's give it another look. Oh, there is two coins. Okay. I'm scared to look around. Slenderman probably has appeared now. I'm not going back over there. I think that the two coins is probably as much as there was in here for now. I need to get eight of these things. I feel like that cricket noise in the background is getting really loud. Is that, <laughs> is that just me or do you guys hear that cricket? especially loud all right um where would a coin be if i was a coin where would i hide at and not a slender man i do i am easily scared but these slender men are not too spooky and he doesn't seem to move where are the, uh, there's something over here. The coin is probably in this thing. There was a Slenderman back by that red, like, skull thing, so I'm going to try to not look. I, I have full health so far, so I must not have had uh, taken much damage from the Slenderman. Or any at all, really. He didn't, uh, he didn't come after me when I got that coin. Four out of eight. What's over here? Is that... There's something red over here that I haven't seen before. Is that a squirrel? Yeah, this squirrel is a little bit stuck. Hey, buddy. You need some help? Here, we freed him. We... We kind of freed him. He's... Hmm, what is this? Maybe I should turn it. Can I turn this thing? I cannot use this. Oh, here's a coin. Cool. Oh, Slenderman. I, I barely saw him there, but he did hurt me. And it doesn't make much of a noise. There's like kind of a hissing noise, right? But uh, that's not enough of a noise. Somebody, uh, somebody should remake this and make him a little bit spookier. Five coins. Where have I explored and where haven't I explored? Let's try to remember so that I don't go to the same places. Here's a little hut. I don't think I've been in the hut. And there's... Really bound to be a Slenderman in this hut. Oh, there he is. Okay. Don't look at him. Um, oh! Oh, so he does move. He he came at me. I should have ran, but I was uh, being silly. <laughs> Killed by the Slenderman. He got me. No! <laughs> I, was, um, I was really not... I was underestimating this Slenderman. I thought... <laughs> Is this it? Does the game not really end? Alright, well, <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to exit here because it doesn't look like there's a proper end for the game, but that is Slender. Thanks for making that. <laughs> Blazing XF2D. <laughs> I'll give you a thumbs up because it was kind of fun, but not too spooky. I'm sorry. Anyway... For all you guys out there watching, I'm going to cut it here. We've played two games. It's still a little bit short. I'm sorry about that. But um, as always, I'm Chronic Mischief. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.